to Coding Ninja's YouTube channel. This is Tripti and in this video, I'll be talking about how to deal with procrastination and laziness. I think like almost every one of us faces like if I talk about myself particularly, I have been a pro procrastinator. I have done it a lot in my entire life. So I'll be talking about few ways that help me overcome it or maybe reduce it to some extent. So yeah, let's talk about it in the form of so for the first point, I would like to say start immediately. So if you have ever noticed this thing, let's say if you come back from your college or from your school, from anywhere, let's say if you come back uh, home from your work and then you sit down and you just try to relax, let's use our phone for a while, let's take a break or let's watch a movie or something, let's do something and we'll do the work later. Whenever you do this, now you end up not doing the work because whenever you come back and you do something else to maybe in the name of relaxation you just get more and more away from that whole vibe of working you don't feel like working anymore you feel like let's just have a long break let's just sleep it off i'll do this tomorrow i'll do this later and that is what happens if you just you know don't start your work immediately Rather, if you have noticed at times whenever you came back from uh, came back from anything, work, college or school and you started doing your homework, let's say, immediately. So you end up completing it because you're already in that vibe, you know, you're already active to do something. And uh, once you've done it, then later if you take a break or do whatever you like, it helps you a lot better to get things done. So that is why I would suggest that start immediately whenever you've come back from somewhere or whenever, you know, let's say you wake up. So instead of thinking like let's take a break let's watch something let's do something and we'll do this later no just start immediately finish off the work and get done with it and later just do whatever you want to this way you'll not be tense the whole day that you have to do something at the end of the day and also you'll have the rest of the day for your own fun or if you want to get other things done as well so yeah it will be help it, it will be helpful in managing your time as well so next point that i'd like to suggest is set daily achievable or practical goals like if at all you have a purpose for a particular day that you're going to wake up and you have to do this one or this two tasks, it will be easier for you because if in the morning you're still unaware or still in the like lazy mood, I don't know what will I do today and that will just, you know, wreck your whole day. Instead, if you're well prepared, uh, because see, whenever you are not doing anything and somebody asks you to do some work, no, so you have less tendency to do it quickly or at the same time or in the whole day because you're already tired, you were not prepared for it. So if at all you already have set goals for yourself, maybe a day before or in the morning, then you are well prepared and you know mentally prepared that yeah, you have to perform some tasks. And obviously you have to keep the goals practical and achievable. I'll suggest create, uh, like keep one or at max two goals that are the most priority that you must do in a day. You can keep other goals as well that yeah these are optional or I will do them only if I'm able to complete them. But even if you're not able to do those optional optional goals, it won't mean that you weren't productive enough. So but keep one or two goals at max that you must do in a day to stay no like to feel that you were productive the whole day. So this way you'll be able to get things done more easily. Uh, without feeling lazy and you'll have the rest of the day to yourself. For the third point, see at times what happens is we don't feel like working, we procrastinate or we feel lazy or I'll just stick on to the term procrastinate because the work that we're supposed to do feels like a lot of task, a lot of tedious work. It feels like it's so huge you won't be able to do it. You're just afraid to start because you know uh, it feels so weird. Yeah, that's that pro point. So in that case, I suggest uh, to not procrastinate or to not end up, you know, putting that work off for a lot of days. So I'll just say start with small and easy tasks. So if you pick up, let's say if you want to make a project or anything and you are just way too afraid that it, it's overwhelming to do such amount of tasks. So I should suggest start with like documentation Ki I'll pick up all the resources I'll make a Google Doc I'll pick up a lot of resources I'll put all those resources in there from where I have to study then I'll start off with maybe a small prototype what am I going to prepare a very rough very rough prototype even if it doesn't make sense it's all right so when you divide your task or you'll start with small and easy tasks you'll be able to reach on to the bigger one or you'll be able to complete whole problem so it's yeah again kind of dividing conquer approach dividing into sub problems and then find the solution in the bigger one so you can 
practice this because when you start working on easy or small task you will be more motivated to you know proceed forward and uh, work on the bigger task because if you try to directly jump on to bigger ones you'll feel overwhelmed or you'll feel like you know something's just off you won't feel like doing it and you'll end up procrastinating so for the fourth point i would like to say personalize or maintain your work workplace so wherever you are sitting down to study wherever you are working the workspace you are present or studying in if it isn't good if it isn't you know welcoming enough you won't feel like working you won't feel like studying so keep all your stationery properly keep your workspace clean and neat and organized whatever things that you might need it should be there it's not like whenever you have to sit down to study you have to like uh, go and fetch different things from different corners of your house if that's the thing then you'll definitely procrastinate because it will, you will be you'll be feeling too lazy to fetch all those things so keep your workspace even if it's a small corner keep everything which you may need while you are studying or you're working everything together there it should be neat and clean you can personalize it you can maybe add you know motivational quotes there just print out some quotes paste it there or write it on a piece of a piece of paper just paste it there i used to do this a lot i used to write motivational quotes and paste it on my study table in front of me so yeah it feels good it feels like an environment where i want to study so yeah personalize your workspace it will help you a lot to do more because uh, this one thing people at times when they study on bed they don't feel like studying so i would always suggest sit on a table or sit on a table and chair and uh, you'll be able to work more efficiently so yeah this was about the workspace point uh, let's move to the next one for the fifth point i would like to say incorporate high movement activity it can be as simple as taking a walk in the park exercising stretching dancing to your favorite songs something that makes you feel active so if you are physically active no even a little bit in your whole day throughout your day so your your uh, tendency to be mentally active will also increase and you will feel much better you will feel much active and you will be able to work if as compared to the situation where you're not doing anything you're just lying on your bed the whole day you will definitely feel lazy in even working so that is why uh, this is one of the things that can help you stay physically active throughout your day so that you can you know work or study efficiently as well so let's put move on to the next point so the last point that i would like to say can help you not procrastinate or can help you you know um, uh, feel good or you make you want to do work is rewarding yourself so at the end of the day if you will reward yourself for doing work throughout the day it can be as simple as watching your favorite series or what your favorite movie playing with your friends going out anywhere so if you reward yourself uh, if it all you have set something for yourself that if you am able to achieve this many goals these many goals or this particular goal throughout the day i'll do whatever i like so this way you will be motivated to study this way you will be motivated to work throughout the day and it might help you to overcome your laziness or your habit of procrastination so yeah just uh, reward yourself with anything that you like it can be even sitting with your family or anything else just take out time for these small little things that make you happy this will uh, cheer up your mood and even further motivate you to do things that you like or you want to do so yeah these were all the things that i think can help you or personally help me it can be starting off from like starting immediately just sitting down to study or dividing your tasks or you know personalizing your workspace and then also rewarding yourself with your favorite things at the end of the day all these things will motivate you to do some work and you know you'll be able to be a little more protect, productive and efficient at the end of the day so yeah that's it from my side for this video i hope you liked it and you, if you have any doubts any queries any questions you can just write them down in the comments and also if you like this video please like and share and also subscribe to the coding ninjas youtube channel thank you so much and have a nice day